Guys, what is going on? Tasty Mond. Someone's just came to my attention today, actually, even though this information's already been out on the internet for a couple of days. I really wanted to take the opportunity to talk about it a little bit. And that is that there is a huge Easter egg in the latest Yakuza game, Infinite Wealth, regarding Shenmue. Anybody who knows me, comes by the stream, has ever looked at the YouTube, you'll see that I've got a couple of playthroughs of Shenmue 1 and 2 up on the channel. Ones were from when I started the channel years ago. The latest ones I actually just done last year, finally I updated those playthroughs so they were in a bit better quality and I got a new Dreamcast. But Shenmue was my favourite series ever at one point and I couldn't tell you how many times we like dreamed about getting Shenmue 3 one day. Shenmue 3 finally happened and I can honestly say this is probably a separate video in itself entirely but I was not a huge fan of Shenmue 3 so I kind of like don't play that game a lot. I still replay Shenmue 1 and 2 every year. Just to talk about this for a second though. Over the past couple of months I've been thinking about how Shenmue could actually continue going forward and it was while I was doing another replay of the games. And the way I thought about it was the only way that it could possibly go forward, at least through my eyes. Now, I'm not a big Yakuza guy. I'm just going to get that out of the way right now. I actually own every single Yakuza game, but I have never played them all. I finally sat down and played Yakuza 0 last year from start to finish. I love the story. I'm not a huge fan of the gameplay, though, that are in the Yakuza games. And a lot of people see Shenmue as what Yakuza would eventually become. To me, they are completely different types of games. They're kind of similar in a lot of aspects. You can clearly see some of the stuff that Yakuza took from Shenmue, like the playable games at the arcades, for example, the overall like feel of like roaming around Japan and stuff like that, even though the games to me feel a lot different, but you can see where the similarities lie. So it got me thinking about what could happen with Shenmue 4 in the future. Is Shenmue 4 just going to be made like Shenmue 3? Because I genuinely think we will get a Shenmue 4 at one point. Just how's it going to be? I don't want it to wind up like how Shenmue 3 was, unfortunately. I know some people love the game, but I'm more open to other ideas at this point. And I was thinking about Sega, and I would love them to still be involved with the series. I would actually like them to continue it with Yu Suzuki still writing the stories. And they are making a lot of Yakuza games these days. There's like eight Yakuza games plus side games as well. And they just had the Yakuza Gaiden side story that happened there. And now Yakuza 8 Infinite Wealth all within like three months of each other here. And I was thinking, is that not quite a lot of Yakuza games to be releasing all at once? I mean, surely Yakuza needs a break at some point. Now, maybe it doesn't. I don't know, I don't follow a lot of Yakuza. As far as I see from the communities, people just love more Yakuza games and more Yakuza games. But I do think it will eventually lead to a burnout of some kind. And it got me thinking, could the Yakuza guys actually make a Shenmue game? I don't know what kind of Shenmue game they would make. Would they just go straight on to Shenmue 4? Possibly. But I don't think that's what would happen. I think they would maybe treat it as a side story, kind of similar to the guiding game that just came out a wee while ago. The actual easter egg that is included in Yakuza Infinite Wealth just basically talks about a guy going around asking where sailors are, which is a great easter egg for anyone that's played Shenmue obviously, and also asking about warehouse number 8. Now there is like, somebody made a comment about the fact that the guy who's with the main character of Yakuza is an NPC that is taken from Shenmue and lives in Sakura Ragaoka, which is an area in Shenmue 1. You've got Dabuira, Sakura Ragaoka, Yamanose, and the harbour. All those areas in Shenmue 1. Now, I'm not entirely sure about the NPC. I've seen the NPC, and I guess there's similarities to the Shenmue 1 NPC. But that's not the main thing to focus on. The main thing to focus on is the fact that... I don't think it's just an easter egg, this. I think that they are looking to do a game about Shenmue. And I don't know what kind of game it's going to be but I think it confirms it. That's enough for me. Because I was wondering what was happening with Shenmue 4. We've not heard anything. It's not like Shenmue 3 was massively popular, okay? And it also was a Kickstarter game. But trust me when I say if Shenmue 3 can happen, Shenmue 4 will happen. 
or Shenmue will continue in some form. And I think the way they're looking to maybe continue it is in the form of Yakuza. Because they're like flooding the market with Yakuza games, they need a little bit of a break up in between. And I think they'll end up putting Shenmue games in between them with similar mechanics to how the Yakuza games work. Whether you like that or no, it doesn't really matter. That's not the point of what we're talking about here. I'm not a huge Yakuza guy as well, but I would more than happy be willing to play a Shenmue game made by those guys because I just absolutely love the Shenmue characters and I want them to live on in some form of AAA video game like what Shenmue deserves. And I think it also confirms that Shenmue takes place within Yakuza's world. I don't think this is just a simple Easter egg like that. There's too much information here for it to be, oh, just a normal Easter egg, at least for me anyway. Now, I'd like to hear what people would like for Shenmue going forward though, what does this mean? If they are going to be side games, would you rather them just go straight on to Shenmue 4? See, I don't think that's a good idea, even though it would be cool. Now, I'm not a huge fan of like the remake spam that's been happening over the years, don't get me wrong, but when some remakes are done right, they're done really well. And it's not like I would want Shenmue 1 and 2 replaced. So this is the hardest question that I want to ask some people as well. I don't want Shenmue 1 and 2 replaced. Those games are magical and they are always special to everyone who's played them. Especially me, I play them on a yearly basis. One of my favourite franchises of all time. Check out the playthroughs if you don't believe me. But I wouldn't want those games to be replaced. But how else could they introduce Shenmue to Yakuza's world without remaking them somehow? I genuinely wonder what Shenmue fans would think about that. Would you guys actually be alright with them remaking the games and kind of adding a Yakuza spin on them a little bit? I'll tell you what though, I don't hate the idea, even though Shenmue means so much to me growing up and still does. Shenmue 3 soured my taste with the franchise quite a bit, to the point where I actually am open to other ideas for Shenmue. And basically I just want to ask people what they think about this. What do also the Yakuza fans think about this? Or do you guys know actually want Shenmue eating up any precious time for more Yakuza games? I'd like to know what people think. All in all, I don't think it is just an Easter egg. I think this is something to look forward to. And it is the Yakuza guys and Sega planting the seeds for Shenmue in the future being made by them. Let me know what you think and I'll catch you in the next one.